What's up everyone? Today we have a 30 minute dumbbell strength workout. This is a full body routine with no repeats and no jumping. I'll be using two 10 pound dumbbells. We'll have intervals of 45 seconds on and 15 seconds rest for the workout. I'll also include a two minute warm up and a three minute cool down at the end. So grab your weights, grab your mat, and let's get started. I don't need no roses on my bed. If I could pull you closer to me. All right, let's get started with our warm up. We have knee pull, then arm swings back. Good, and your alternating legs. Here we go, join in. We have 30 seconds per move for our warm up today. All right, we have squat, then a reach side bend. Good. Feel the stretch through the side body. Tear me apart when I know you don't want me. Cause I've been going fast and you wanna go slowly. All right, we have kicks forward, reaching with that opposite hand. Good, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs here. All right, reverse lunge. You're going to twist towards that front leg. Good, switch sides. All right, let's get into our workout. Grab both dumbbells. Feet are about hip width. We have squat, bicep curl, rotate those palms up here. Here we go, hips go down and back. Exhale to curl. All right, take a breather. Next up, take those arms wide into a wide bicep curl. We have four regular curls, then four mini curls. Here we go, standing tall, exhale curl, inhale extend. Good, into those mini curls. You're lifting part way and lowering part way. Ditch one dumbbell. One by one, one by one. We have squat walk. So start at one end of the mat. You're going to stay low. Good. Then reach and press diagonally overhead. Here we go. Good. 
Good, try and keep those hips down. Take those steps nice and slow. All right, take a break. We're going to press forward, bring one knee up, give it a little chop, then bring that dumbbell back in, alternating sides. Here we go, really pull up, engage the core. Good, take it slow. Good, challenging our balance here. Working the front of the shoulders. Good, and challenging the core as well. Okay, dumbbell into the left hand. You're gonna lunge back with the left leg. Split squat, you're gonna do super slow to lower, and then press overhead. Here we go. Good, so left leg is back, that other arm can either be out to the side or on your hip, whatever works for you. Slow lower, good. Switch sides, dumbbell comes into the right hand, and now it's your right leg stepping back. Here we go, find it, sinking slow, and press. Good, turn that core on. Brace through the core. Good, especially through that press. Hold it strong. All right, bring one dumbbell onto the floor. We have mason twist, nice and slow, leaning back. Four of those, then four in and out. Good to modify, you can either do without the dumbbell. You can also just stick with the mason twist. Remove those in and outs. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Come on to your back. Dumbbell is in the right hand, other hand behind the head. You're gonna extend the left leg and then press overhead. Bend, exhale, press. Here we go. 
Good, you are lifting and crunching off the ground. Work the core, reach for the sky. Alright, switch sides. Dumbbell is in the left hand now, and you're gonna extend and bend the right leg. Here we go. Press. Extend. Exhale. Inhale. Good. See if you can lift up higher. Good. Reach up even more. All right, flip around. You're gonna take those hands mat width and feet mat width too, nice and wide. Two push-ups, then reach for that dumbbell, pass it to the other side. As always, to modify, drop those knees. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, extend. Good, keep those hips flat as you pass the dumbbell, nice and still. All right, you have a low plank coming onto your elbows. Shift the weight forward, back, lift one leg, lower. Here we go. Good to modify either hold plank or drop those knees down. Shift forward, back, lift, alternating sides. Good, keep breathing. Nice, pull that core in. Good, you've got this. Almost there. 10 seconds. Okay, stand on up, grab both dumbbells. Whew, that was tough. Okay, we have front squat. Sink those hips, lift the knee, and do the other knee. Here we go. Good, so those dumbbells can be resting on the shoulders here. Whatever feels comfortable for you. And because our weight is in the front, we can keep the body a little bit more upright for that squat. Good. forward, draw those elbows back. You're gonna do tricep extensions, little rotation of the wrist to make the palm face up, right at the end of that motion there. Here we go. Long through the spine, bend through those knees. 
keep those elbows drawing back the whole time. Good, back muscles are activating. Work the triceps as we extend. Okay, dumbbells together for the next move. We have three tricep extensions, and then bring it down, press back up. Here we go. Good, bring it in front and press. Good, as always, make sure those elbows are staying in place. Good, always controlling it. All right, right leg plants, and then left leg tap, tops back into a staggered stance here. We have the stance deadlift, step it diagonal back, curtsy lunge. Here we go. Good, keep those dumbbells close to your leg, nice and slow for that deadlift. Then body comes upright for the curtsy. Good, back heel is popped, making sure you're changing the positioning of that back leg for the curtsy. You've got it. All right, switch legs. Now we have, we have the left leg planted forward, then the right leg taps back, and then right leg crosses back for that curtsy. Here we go. Good, I hope you're feeling it in your front hamstrings here. Ooh, you're almost done. Okay, palms facing forward. We have curl to press, curl, extend. Here we go. Good, working the biceps and the shoulders. All right, step those feet nice and wide. Turning out from the hips, we have a wide second here. Palms facing in, you're going to squat down. Give me a hammer curl, extend, lateral shoulder raise. Here we go. Body stays upright for this one. 
Good. Holding everything nice and strong. Keep those knees drawing back in space for that wide second. Keep the turn out. Stitch one dumbbell. Okay, hold the dumbbell like so. We have dumbbell swings. Swing it through and then use your glutes to thrust forward. Here we go. Good, those arms should be swinging effortlessly. Everything is coming from your glutes here. Good. Really power through as you thrust forward. Okay, pull the dumbbell like so. We have goblet squat, little pulse, pulse, reverse lunge, and your alternating legs. Here we go. Sink low. Feel the burn through those legs. Grab both dumbbells. Find a plank. We have hands are about shoulder width. Right knee, right row. Left knee, left row. Here we go. As always, drop those knees to modify. Good. Try not to twist too much for that row. Work the back muscles. Good, I know this one's tough. Let's go, guys. A few seconds. Okay. Woo. Come on, to your back. Take your dumbbells with you. We have press and single toe tap. Here we go. Good. Press and lift, work the chest, work the core. Good. Try and give me a little hold at the top, really reach, then slow to come back down. Drop the feet, palms facing your legs here. You can glue those dumbbells together for skull crushers. Good. Another killer for the triceps. Let's do it. Inhale, lower, exhale, extend. 
Good. As always, elbows over those shoulders. Good, if you want, you can bring them just a little bit this way. Add that challenge. Ooh, we're shaking. Okay, we're going to get rid of one dumbbell, place the other one on your hips. Feet are about hip width, but take a little bit of a step out. We have hip thrusts up. Good. Now with this longer position here, we are going to work a little bit more into the hamstrings. We're still squeezing the glutes, still pressing into those heels. Good. Right, back to our regular stance. So bring those heels back right under, uh, underneath the knees here. And we're gonna do hip lift, little pulse, and then slow to lower. Here we go. Lift and pulse. Good, super slow. Hold and hold. Good. Really tuck those ribs in. Nice. You should really be feeling it in your glute muscles. All right, stand on up. Bring both dumbbells with you. Okay, palms facing up. We're gonna press forward. Good. And lateral raise, palms forward this time. Here we go. So this is gonna look different than your average lateral raise here. Your elbows are bent and they're dropping down with the palms facing forward. Good. Nice, engage through that center chest as we press forward. Good. Squeeze those shoulder blades as we bring it to the side. I know it burns, let's go. All right, two movements left. Take those feet a little bit wider, slightly turned out into a sumo stance. You're gonna squat, single arm press, squat, single arm press. Here we go. All right, final move, stay here. We're gonna lower, lift part way, lower, lift all the way. Woo. All right, let's get to it. Here we go. Sink low, lift halfway, good. 
all the way up. Good. Make sure we're not hunching over with that upper body. As always, keeping it nice and flat, nice and lifted. All right, ditch your dumbbells. Grab a hold of your right leg, quad stretch. Good, you can always use the support of a wall nearby if you have one. Here we go. Back of the left arm comes against the wall. We're gonna twist away. Good, by rotating the hand this way, we're getting a little bit more into the biceps, but still into the chest. Good, really keep that rotation away to feel the stretch. All right, switch sides. Grab hold of the left ankle for that quad stretch. Good, pull those knees together, pull the heel, heel towards your glutes, really pull up. Okay, right hand or right arm stretch, back of that hand on the wall and twist away. Good, make sure to take some deep breaths through this cool down, really slow down your breath and starting to slow down the heart rate. Okay, take those feet into a wide second. You can either use your hands here or come all the way down onto your elbows. We wanna push those knees back in space to feel the stretch through your inner thighs here. Good, if you wanna add some shoulders, you can. Alrighty, point the toes forward. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Good, let that head fall. You can shake it out. Just relax that upper body here. Good, and stretch through the back of the legs. Good, bend through those knees and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Good, let's take an inhale. And exhale. Good, last one, inhale. And exhale, shake it out and you did it. All right, everyone, you smashed it. Now, I do have a question for you guys. I wanna know how many sets of dumbbells do you have at home? For most of my workouts on my channel, I'm using just the one set of dumbbells, but I'd love to create some workouts in the future that have two sets of dumbbells since some exercises are easier than others with just the one set. So let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback. And if you enjoyed this one, then hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.